Good morning, this is Mrs. Strauss and I'm, today's video will be uh, an instructional video on how to graph in Excel 2010. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open Excel. I have Excel open on my desktop and you'll find it on your desktop by going to the Start menu, All Programs, scrolling until you see Microsoft Office, and then finding Excel 2010 and clicking on it and it'll open to a blank document. We should save this because that way as we work, in case we have an issue and it closes down on us, we don't have to retype all of our data. So let's go to File, Save As, make sure that we are in the Documents folder, and type our last name in Science Data or Science Graphs, and click Save. And now each time that you save it, you don't have to save as again, you can just go to Save, or the Save button on the top to keep your information up to date as you're working. Um, during your science experiment, you should have kept a record book, and in your record book, you have some numerical data. When we graph, we have to have numbers in order to graph. That's probably the hardest part, is trying to figure out how to get your information into numbers. But once you have that, um, the graphing part is easy. So let's look at the graphing part. So I have a fictitious experiment where I looked at the growth of plants in different angles of sunlight. So my first one was in direct sunlight. So I'm going to put growth of plants in direct sunlight and uh, I also measured it in centimeters because this is a scientific um, type of graph and so I have to have it in metrics. So I measured it maybe over 30 days. So I'll put in day one, day two, day three, and I would actually go all the way down to day 30, but for the sake of time I stopped right here on day 10. And then I entered the height of my plant. Uh, each day. Now notice that it's very important that you see right here on the height of the plant that I did not put units by the numbers. Um, the units are at the top, it says in centimeters, and this will not graph correctly if you have units attached to it. So make sure that it is just numbers. After you have your data in the Excel document, you're going to highlight all of your data including the headings. Then you'll go to the Insert tab, Line Graph, and I like the line graphs with the data points on it, and maybe a bar graph is better for yours, or maybe a pie graph is better, but I'm going to go ahead and do a line graph for this one. And then immediately inserted the graph into my Excel sheet. But I don't really want it here. I want it to be in a sheet all to itself so that when it prints out, it looks nice and big. So I'm going to right click on this, and I'm going to say move chart. So you have to right click inside the chart, say move chart. And if it doesn't happen right away, just right click again. We're going to move it to a new sheet, and I'm going to call this a direct sunlight graph. That way I know exactly what it is, and I click OK. Then if you look down here on the bottom, I have a new tab that actually has the name I just typed. So sheet 1 was where my data was, and direct sunlight graph was where uh, my graph is. Now I'm going to work in my graph to make it look better for presentation on my science board. So the first thing I'm going to do is to change the chart layout. So notice on top I have chart tools and I have three tabs. So chart tools, design, tab, go to chart layout, click the down button, and I like the one that has a title and both access labels. So I'm going to click that one. You'll notice it comes up immediately right here. Um, growth of plant in direct sunlight. I'm going to go ahead and click on that title. I like the title except for where it says centimeters because I'm going to put that on my access label instead, but so far that's good. Now I've got an access label that is my vertical label. That is That was the height of the plant. So it goes from 0 to 3.5 centimeters. So I'm going to put height of plants in centimeters. And then for my bottom axis label, I'm going to put my horizontal label. I guess it's a better way to say that. I'm going to do a day of measurement. Finally, over here on the side, I have this little extra piece of information. I don't really need it, so I'm going to hit the delete button. That also expanded my graph out. If you don't like blue for this line right here, you can actually click on the line and go to Format under Chart Tools and change it to black or any other color that makes sense to you. You can also change the points. I think a black line actually looks better. Um, there are many other selections when you're under Format. Go to the right underneath the word File where it says Plot Area and you can actually go and change each piece that way as well. Um, and it makes it easy to, to change the different you know, sections of it because it will highlight it for you. 
once you have this looking exactly the way that you want it, you can go to File, Print, and it will print just that one graph. Then you can return to your data by going back to Sheet 1, and maybe I have another set of data for a plant that was grown in indirect sunlight. So I have growth of plant, and being open, uh, indirect sunlight also measured in centimeters, and I would repeat the process, and I would have the date number here, my other title. So I have day one, and it was zero, and then I have day two, and it grew 0 0.5 centimeters, and then I have day three, and it grew one point to centimeters and so forth. And I would continue all my data for my second part of my experiment. When I have it all in, I repeat the process. I highlight the data. I go to insert, line graph. Line graph comes up. Right click on the line graph. Move the chart to a new sheet. And I would call this indirect sunlight graph. Click OK. You'll notice now on the bottom I have my direct sunlight graph that I've already printed. Here's my indirect sunlight graph and I can repeat the process of customizing this and printing it. I hope this video has helped you to understand how to graph data, scientific data, into graphs using Excel. Make sure that you're saving as you go. Thank you.